This is optional. I want you to understand, nobody is compelled. But if there are those of you here this morning or this afternoon now who feel that somehow on the basis of what you've heard or maybe previous experience, you have a problem, a demonic problem. There's an area in your life in which Jesus is not in control and you're not in control. You may be in control of 90%, but there's this 10%. It may be your temper, it may be your mind, it may be your sex life, it may be your relationships with other people. There is an area where you need deliverance. I want to help you. I've helped, I can say, I think, with honesty, hundreds of thousands of people. It works. What I'm going to offer to do for you, those of you who feel that you want help here, I'm going to invite you in a few moments to stand and say a prayer. You'll not be praying to me, you'll be praying to Jesus. Remember, there's only one deliverer. What's his name? Jesus. If you want deliverance, you have to come to the deliverer. There's no alternative. Jesus said, him that cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast out. If you come, he'll receive you. Now this is a method that I have employed with large crowds in Wellington Old Town Hall just two weeks ago in New Zealand. We had at least 2,000 people and it worked for 2,000. It worked dramatically well. I have never seen so many people liberated in such a short space of time. So what I'm going to offer to do now this is an offer. I'm going to lead you in a prayer in which you will have the opportunity to humble yourself, to come to Jesus and to affirm that you've met the conditions. You understand? I'll put in your, word, in your mouth the words, you renounce the occult and every kind of contact with satanic power. You'll forgive every other person who ever harmed you or wronged you you'll release yourself from every curse over your life and you'll have to do that in faith without the understanding. And then you'll present yourself to Jesus as a candidate for deliverance. And when you've said the prayer and met all the conditions, the last thing you'll say is Amen. Okay? And when you've said Amen, don't do any more praying. It's very religious to pray, sounds good, but as long as you're praying, you're keeping the demons inside. You understand? They can't get out past your prayer. Don't speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues is wonderful, but it has the same effect. It keeps the demons inside. It's like when the ambulance or the police car goes down the road with its sirens blaring and its lights flashing. Everything else gets off to the side and lets it go past. That's how demons get out. See? Make way for them. Release them. Let them go out. Now, I said, faith without works is dead. I didn't, but the Bible does, okay? So, don't stand there passive when you've said the prayer, waiting for something to happen. Do one very simple thing. Begin to breathe out, expel. And you find if you have a problem, in a short while, it'll be more than mere human breath that's coming up. That's your, what you're after. Now, when that happens, you might become undignified. You might not act in a very religious way. If you decide to be dignified and religious, you lose what you prayed for. It's your option. I suggest you turn loose and get it out. I've told the people the devil is no gentleman. He comes in uninvited and he usually has to be kicked out. Kick him out with everything you've got. Don't spare him. Hate him. Listen, it's no sin to hate the devil. It's a sin not to hate the devil. If to be passive and indifferent is sinful. Okay, those of you that want to say this prayer, would you stand to your feet right now? We don't have more than about three minutes. All right, now we are praying to Jesus, the Deliverer, not to Brother Prince. And I would like you to say these words. They're all taken out of the Bible and what I have taught, okay? Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are the Son of God and the only way to God. That you died on the cross for my sins 
and rose again from the dead. I come to you now for mercy and for forgiveness. I believe you do forgive me and receive me as your child. And because you receive me, I receive myself as a child of God. <coughs> and now, Lord, you know the special problem that I have. The demonic influences that torment me. Lord, I want to meet your conditions and receive your deliverance. First of all, I forgive every other person. Whoever harmed me or wronged me, I forgive them all now. Now pause for a moment and quietly name the persons you need to forgive to yourself. We're going on. Lord, I have forgiven all these persons. I have laid down all bitterness, all resentment, all hatred, and all rebellion. And I believe you've forgiven me. I thank you for it. I also renounce every contact with Satan, with occult power, with secret societies, with anything in Satan's territory. I repent of being on that territory and I turn my back on it now. Also, Lord, if there's a curse over my life, I thank you that on the cross you were made a curse, that I might be redeemed from the curse and receive the blessing. And I claim that now. Release from the curse and entering into the blessing. And now, Lord, I want to come against any evil spirit in me that occupies any area of my personality. I want to tell you, I hate them. They are my enemies. I will not make peace with them. I will not compromise with them. They will have no more place in me. I turn against them now. And in the authority of your name, Jesus, I command them to leave me. I expel them right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, no more praying. I'll do the final prayer. You do the letting go. Begin to expel right now in faith. Now, Lord, as your servant and representative here this morning, under the authority of the local leadership, I take dominion in Jesus' name over every evil spirit that has been renounced, and I command them to go now in Jesus' name. Release these people and go from them now in the mighty, all-prevailing name of Jesus Christ. I affirm that Jesus Christ is Lord over this gathering, that he has defeated Satan, that he holds the keys of death and of Hades, that all authority has been given unto him in heaven and in earth. Satan, you are subject to us through the name of Jesus. You have to obey us. You have to go from these people. You have no options. The Bible says you must leave and leave you must, Satan. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now just get a full deliverance. Release yourself from everything. Once the anointing is here, you can get rid of everything. And it's much more difficult to do it when the anointing lifts. That's right. Don't bother about other people. Don't hold on to your dignity. It'll come back in a few moments. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise your holy name. Praise your name. Praise your name.